In this destination quickie, we had take a look at Denby Castle in Denby, Wales. Hey folks, so I'm back at Denby Castle today. Um, I walked up here yesterday, which is quite a steep hill, only to find that the castle was closed. Didn't occur to me at all that ruins uh, might be closed. So. Uh, yeah, but if you have nothing else, I've got a bit of exercise. So, yeah, I'm about to go in and do a little bit of exploring and obviously take some photos and videos. Denby Castle and Walls were a set of fortifications built to control the lordship of Denby after the conquest of Wales by Norman King Edward I in 1282. Denby Castle is one of ten castles in what is referred to as the Ring of Iron or Iron Ring of Castles. The King Edward I granted the land to Henry de Lacy, the Earl of Lincoln, who began to build a new walled town colonized by immigrants from England, protected by a substantial castle. In 1294, the Welsh temporarily seized the castle. After regaining the control of the castle a few months later, uh, the defenses continued to be improved although the castle was not completely finished by the time of Henry's death in 1311. During the War of the Roses, Denby was attacked by Lancastrian forces. The walled town was attacked and burnt. In the aftermath, the old town was largely abandoned by its inhabitants, the walled area becoming an extension of the castle's defences. During the English Civil War, Denby was held by the Royalists until it was taken in 1646 following a parliamentary siege. The castle was seized by Royalist soldiers in 1659, after which General George Monk ordered it to be slighted, with various parts of the walls and towers being demolished. In the middle of the 19th century, the town created a committee to manage the ruins and carried out restoration work. The central government's Office of Works took over responsibility for the fortifications in 1914, with the site ultimately passing into the control of the Welsh Cadu Heritage Agency. Denby Castle is dominated by a triangle of three octagonal towers that forms its main entrance, considered by the historian John Goodall to be the most architecturally sophisticated gatehouse of the 13th century. Eight mural towers protect the rest of the curtain wall, further protected by barbicans and a mantlet of defensive terraces and walls. The castle connects to the town walls, which remain largely intact and stretch for around 1,100 meters around the old town. The town walls were once protected by four towers and two gatehouses, although only one of the gatehouses still survives. The castle and town's gatehouse were constructed of decorative stonework intended to symbolize royal authority and civic pride. Hey, so I'm inside Denby Castle. It's, um, it's quite a nice, massive, big castle actually. Lots to see. Um, but if you can see that up there at the top, there's a flagpole. You can actually walk up there. Um, so some of you may know, I'm a bit petrified of heights. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get up there. Um, obviously, by the end of this video, you will know if I was successful or not. So at this point, I'm beginning my climb to the top of the wall, um, where I was, I'm hoping to be able to get up onto the wall to get some great photos from that viewpoint. Up until this stage, all going well. The railings, I've got the camera quite low here, so the railing probably takes me up to just below my hip. Um, at this point, I'm getting a bit weary, but I'm determined to go further until I discover that it's wooden stairs with that you can see through. And at this point, my big boy pants fell off. 
This is the castle well, some 15 meters deep, provided the castle with much required water. It is believed that Henry de Lacy's eldest son, Edmund, fell to his death in this well. I hope that's provided some high level information about Denby Castle and if it's a place that you would like to add to your to see list. Uh, do stay tuned for some photographs taken at, during my time at the castle. Don't forget to subscribe please.